Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And I haven't talked about TNA in a while, but people were asking me, you know, review Bound for Glory, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am not sitting through Bound for Glory. I'm not sitting through three hours of TNA, something I could give so much less of a shit about than I already do. And, you know, or I couldn't give, that that would be proper English, that I couldn't care less about it. But, um, let's talk about what happened in the last match, which I did watch. I watched the What Culture video, um, about it. And like I said, you know, What Culture is, first of all, what I on What Culture, I only watch the videos that have Simon on them. If I turn the video on and it's not Simon, I turn it off. Because those people's opinions are fucking horrendous. And I always agree with Simon, but I like Simon. He's a wrestler. The guy's got a good physique. He's got a good attitude. He's the only one with a sense of charisma on there. And that might have something to do with him being a performer himself. But whatever it is. I mostly just watch the top tens. But I saw the Austin Aries thing and I was like, you know what? Let me click on it and see what happened. So, I read around, you know, uh, Johnny Impact, uh, Johnny Mondo, John Morrison, John Hennigan from WWE. You know, he, um, you know, he's been in Lucha Underground. They were doing a, you know, a Lucha Underground versus a TNA angle for a while. But now Johnny Impact is part of Impact. And so they had a... Um, a, a you know a world title match, and Johnny Impact hits the uh, the Starship Pain his finisher on Austin Aries gets the three count, and Aries I think he was you know scheduled to win anyway. He no sells the Starship Pain. He gets up right away, walks out of the ring, and that's it. Like he no sold the finish like a complete fucking asshole. And Aries has been a crybaby. Um, Jim Cornette, Vince Russo, everyone's called this guy out for being a prick. So, you know, Vince Russo said that, you know, Aries is a midget, he once called him. He's, he, he said, you know, like, the guy thought very highly of himself. And I'll be honest, I think Austin Aries is talented. I liked when he was in WWE. I liked when he was working with Neville. But the guy has an attitude, and I could see why that would lead to problems and why this guy might not get certain opportunities. He doesn't have the right to be so much of a diva because he's not on the level of a rock. He's not on the level of a Jericho or an Austin or somebody like that where they earn the right to have a little bit of an ego. Needless to say, some people like Stone Cold don't even have an ego. So for Aries to act in such a manner is completely fucking inexcusable because he's not that big of a star. Just because you were the ROH world champion, that, that don't mean shit, buddy. So, the little tool bag on what culture talks about, oh, Vince Russo must be responsible for this because it's a shoot. Well, it wasn't a shoot, it turns out. Aries was just being his normal dickish self and he walked out of the fucking ring and... Also, what's really funny is that Aries, during an interview, threatened Vince Russo recently and said that he was going to beat him up. A 97-year-old grandpa he was going to beat up because years ago he called him a midget and he still hasn't been able to get over that. Aries, buddy, I'm even shorter than you. I'm 5'5". Five five. You know how many people have made fun of my height over the years? But the, the thing is, I'm an adult. I don't go threaten to say, I'm going to kick your ass because you said that to me. If anything, that would make you sound even more immature. And it would also, you know, you know, 5'5", five five, like being the height of like an underdeveloped child, right? So it's like it's making you seem even more like a, a little kid than you, than you already look height-wise. So you see why it's important not to have a short man complex and be like, Nyeh. you know, Aries got a great build and everything like that, and I'll put him over for that. But man, come on. I'm another short guy who works out and everything like that. You know, I don't have the build of an Austin Aries, but the, the thing is, you know, 
you, you can't act like such a fucking asshole. You're getting paid to be there. Oh, I had to lose a match. <laughs> you, you know, what a fucking immature child. But the thing is, like, I have a lot of opinions about here is the video I watched with What Culture where they're fucking blaming Russo when, first of all, Vince Russo hasn't been a part of TNA for fucking how long now? You know what I mean? He left there, like, in 2012 in a consultant role where, you know, they weren't even really taking much of his advice. And... Why would he... For, he would be the last person to try to put Aries over when he's threatening to kick his ass. So, it's like, what is what culture's strain up, strange obsession with hating on Russo? And also, Aries is just a fucking dick. And, it, you know, it, it's like, they don't want to blame Aries himself. They want to blame a third party. It's like, no... It's just Aries. He's an asshole, and that's what he did. And that's the story right there. Instead, you gotta do all this yellow journalism muckraking bullshit like all the other dirt sheets do, like Dave Meltzer and Wade Keller. You just can't report on the fucking story without having to get your two cents in. Oh, it's Russo. <laughs> no, it's Aries being a dick once again. That's all there is to it. Alright, guys, so... There you go. Pretty much that's your little review of Bound for Glory and what I thought about it. I didn't watch the main event, but that's what I think of the biggest story coming out of Bound for Glory is Austin Aries is an asshole. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please click, click subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that you're still, still subscribed because YouTube loves to do that to me. They love to... Oh, 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 oh you, you think you're subscribed? No, no, got you there. <laughs> You're down five subscribers. So make sure it don't happen to me. Click the bell so you get all the notifications when I post all my new videos. Check out some of the other videos that I posted here. And until next time, guys.